Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can investigate malicious Microsoft Office files. We use Microsoft Office regularly to create Word documents, Excel workbooks, PowerPoint presentations, and OneNote notebooks. All these Office files have a feature called Macro that has been misused by hackers to make Office files malicious. We will start off with understanding what a macro is. Assume you are working on a Word document. You want to perform the following tasks on it. Create a table with eight rows and three columns. Insert column headings and align them towards the center. Modify the line spacing for the entire table. You intend to create a table with this style many times throughout the document. Instead of manually performing this task multiple times, you can create a macro to automate the creation of this specially formatted table. When you perform these sequence of tasks for the first time, record it and create the macro. When you simply utilize the macro again, the specially formatted table gets created with a single click. A macro is a set of instructions to automate a repetitive task. Macros can be created in Word documents, Excel workbooks, PowerPoint presentations, and OneNote notebooks. When a macro is created, the instructions are stored in Visual Basic language. It is referred to as a VBA macro. Older Excel workbooks support a type of macro called Excelim macro. Cyber adversaries misuse macros to perform tasks of their choosing, like execution of malicious scripts, download malicious files in the background, establish connections to malicious servers, etc. Malicious office files are typically delivered through phishing emails. When an unsuspecting user opens a file with a malicious macro, unintended activity begins in the background. Now, we will process an Excel workbook that is suspected to contain a malicious macro. On the analysis machine, a Python package called OLE tools must be installed. This package contains multiple tools to identify the presence of malicious macros in Office files and extract them. In this demonstration, I will walk you through how three tools in this package can be used. I have already installed the OLE tools package on a virtual machine First, I will use OLEID tool to perform a quick scan of the Excel workbook and identify if it has any embedded macros in it. It appears that this file has suspicious VBA macros, but there are no XLM macros. Next, I will use Enraptor tool to get more information about the VBA macros present. There are four columns of information in this output. The column we are interested in is flags. Macros can have any of these three flags associated with them, auto-execute, write, or execute. It appears that the auto-execute and execute flags have been set for one or more suspicious macros in this Excel workbook. It is possible that the macros have been designed to execute a command or a script. We will know more when we look at the contents of the macros now, let's get more information about the macro. For this, we will utilize the OLE VBA tool. The A switch indicates to analyze the macros present and display only the analysis results. This workbook has three macros. We can see that five issues are identified with the macros present. The workbook before close keyword indicates that some execution occurs when the workbook is closed. The shell and VB hide keywords indicate that some command or binary may be executed. OLE VBA has also identified the presence of hex strings and a URL. Now, let's take a closer look at the macros present. For this, we will utilize OLE VBA without the A switch. We can see the analysis results. Before this table, you can find the contents of all the macros present in this workbook. This section is one macro. 
Above this, you can find the contents of another macro. They are present as functions and subs. Both are sets of instructions that constitute the macro. The difference between both is this, a function can return a value, while a sub cannot. This line indicates the first line of the sub, and it ends here. We can see that there is a message box indicating that a PDF is loaded when the workbook is closed. Soon after we can see the use of shell and VB hide keyword. The remaining contents of this routine are obfuscated. Further analysis must be done to recover them. To know more about obfuscation, you can watch another video on our channel. You will find the link to it in the description box below. We can also store the results of this command to a text file. Let us take a look at the remaining macros. I have opened the results file in a text editor. We can see one empty macro. Following this, we can see one macro that has obfuscated content. Scrolling through, we can spot the suspicious content seen earlier. Here, we can see the URL that was identified by OLEVBA. It appears that the URL undergoes some modification before being used by the code. The remainder of the code is obfuscated. To fully understand this code, it must be deobfuscated. The sample can also be uploaded to VirusTotal for quick results. We can see that multiple security vendors have identified the sample as malicious. From our analysis using OLEID, MRAPTOR, and OLEVBA, we identified that the chosen Excel workbook contains suspicious macros. The presence of an unusual URL, keywords, and obfuscation drives us to conclude that the macros present are malicious. You can study code deobfuscation to fully comprehend the behavior of this malicious macro. Other Office files like Word documents and PowerPoint presentations can also be checked for the presence of malicious macros using the OLE Tools package. Do you want to try an experiment at home? Pick a malicious Office document from a malware dataset and utilize OLE Tools against it. See if you can uncover the behavior of the macros. As a security feature, to protect your system from malicious macros, disable the use of macros entirely. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.